everywhere. It's really frustrating, and in a lot of ways, the silence is deafening. A survey asking mayoral candidates if they support certain harm reduction initiatives in Winnipeg has only about half of candidates respond, irking advocates. Whether people want to admit it or no, or not, this is a this crisis is uh, taking place and taking lives in every corner and every neighborhood in this city. The Manitoba Health Coalition and the Winnipeg Harm Reduction Network sent surveys to all 11 mayoral candidates in Winnipeg. By deadline, only six have replied to the survey, which asks five questions, including supporting the creation of low-barrier housing to the immediate creation of supervised consumption sites. We have folks that are dying every day, and every day that we don't have progressive leadership, a leadership that's willing to be brave, to accept these challenges that, that's facing our relatives, uh, to, to create policy, to enact action. We, that's what we need in our leadership. We don't need leadership that, that can't even be bothered to respond to a, a questionnaire, a simple questionnaire as to whether or not you support these types of initiatives or not. Rana Bukhari, Idris Adelakun, Chris Glassio, Robert falcon Willette, and Don Woodstock say they would support all five harm reduction initiatives, while Scott Gillingham, the only other candidate to respond, says he would only support the creation of low-barrier housing. Glenn Murray, Kevin Klein, Sean Loney, Rick Schoen, and Jenny Motkluckt had not replied by the survey's deadline. At a press conference Friday, City News asked former Mayor Glenn Murray if he would support these initiatives. The answer was yes, but not until proper systems are in place. What worries me right now is that we're not planning and things do not get delivered well and residents don't have a say in what goes on in their neighborhoods. And if you want to try to do these things without the consent of the people who live in the neighborhood, they're going to be short-lived. And so, you know, you can, there's some good examples where these things have worked, but you can't just rust out and drop something into someone's neighborhood like that. You can't. In late August, Bukhari pledged safe consumption sites if elected. She says this issue is Winnipeg-wide and hopes other candidates get on board with an immediate plan for safe consumption sites. Until we take some very serious action and not continue to do the same thing we've always done or lip service um, that we've been hearing, uh, we will not be able to um, lift ourselves out of this uh, situation which can, which can only be described as a crisis. The WHRN says 407 Manitobans died in 2021 of substance-related harms, and the MHC says ambulance services have seen a huge spike in overdose-related calls over the past five years. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.